with her it go <laughs> this is the inside <laughs> stop doing that I realized that I don't intro my vlogs like that. I watched a video somewhere where people just said that thought leaders in this space said just get in, just get to the video. So I, I stopped doing stuff like that a long time ago. <laughs> but perhaps I should say that. Like, hey girl, how are you? You feel me? This body cream from Nude Skin. What is it? Oh, I just got confused. It's called Nude Body, but it's from Nude Nude Sticks. Okay, this must be this is it's clearly a new brand. But it's from Nude Sticks. The box said Nude Sticks. Okay, it's called Nude Body. It is a peptide body cream. I love how creamy it is. You know, you've tried whipped. No, okay, it's not whipped. I'm correcting myself as I speak. It's not whipped. You know, whipped products feel light. This one feels milky. Ah, is it milky? It's very unique. It has a very pr a prom prominent scent. It's got bergamot and lavender i would say that the lavender and is yuzu a scent i don't know i'm not familiar with it the lavender is very pronounced so if you're not a fan of lavender you're not gonna like this it's very strong oh and it has aha Ooh, so that's the brightening complex oh i should have used this at night then okey dokey when you're using an aha or bh on the body it's going to be intensified by the sun it'll, it'll make your skin sensitive so i i just realized i should have worn this at night so that it, you're not gonna be in the sun. Okay, <laughs> it has 1% lactic, 1% glycolic. I mean, this is great. Obviously it's gonna help renew skin's texture by visibly exfoliating and softening rough areas. Okay, well, it's on. It's not the end of the world, but just a note to self. It does leave skin with a silky smooth finish. It feels rich. It feels very rich. If you don't like rich body products, you're not gonna like that. But if you love rich body products, you're going to thoroughly enjoy that. All right, let's get this hair going because I'm getting ready to go have lunch with Nini. If you don't know, I go once a week to have lunch with him at school and I just love that so much. It's such a treat. I don't know if that was a thing 30 years ago, but not my scalp. I had my hair blown. I had my hair blown out <laughs> and I just washed it. I shampooed and conditioned, but this one, I'm like, what? Why is that part like the itchy? My scalp is clean now. Okay, so yeah, I don't know if that was a thing back in the day. My mom would work in two jobs anyway, so there's no way she would have been able to do it. And also, as an immigrant to the country, honey, you got to work and take care of your family. Her mind was not on going to have lunch with me. So I, I really enjoy being able to do stuff like that with him because it just makes my heart melt. You know, he's my answered prayer. This, this is the Pattern Beauty Jojoba Oil. Put some of this up in the hair. And tonight I'm supposed to be going to have dinner with Marie, so I look forward to that. You know, we don't be getting that much. When we get out, we like to do it right. You feel me? So, that's supposed to be happening. Oop, let's get this here together. The Women Evolve tickets, the Women Evolve dates and location just got announced. These edges are just running away from me. What the hell? <laughs> They're running away from me. I'm irritated. Uh, thank God for my product that I'm going to use to fill it in. The one of all dates just got announced and how exciting. It's going to be at the same place. I mean, the Glow of Life, yo, they're offering hot dogs and freaking random foods. I just know that uh, you can't even take food inside. Hold on. Now that I'm reminded, I don't recall us being able to take food inside. Well, when you go to Glow of Life, honey, be ready to be hungry unless you eat stuff like that pizza hot dogs it was just a challenge for me since i'm on keto to find something decent to eat each day and the schedule was pretty jam-packed i look forward to seeing how they modify the schedule they seemed very open to our feedback even in the app sarah had done a live she's been doing a lot of things in that app actually so they were open to feedback we'll see i mean i can't imagine um, um, i can't imagine the food would change that much but it just made me think like, yo, the place is humongous though. It housed all of us. How many places are available in that Dallas area to house everyone? And I'm sure it's easier for her and her whole conference team to just stay in the city. So yeah, hotels are filling up mad quickly. By the time you see this video, <laughs> I mean, hopefully you, if you plan on going, September, what, 26th is the 
the first day of the conference. If you plan on going, hopefully you already got your hotel flight. I'm going to get that. I'm not in a rush to get that because I'm just right down the street. So I don't have to worry about getting that early. But if you live far, obviously getting it early would be your best bet. You feel me? So we're doing my slip bag situation because that is one of my go-to hairstyles. It's my power hairstyle that I talked about on IG. Why did my voice get low? <laughs> because I'm busy but that's my power hairstyle a hairstyle that is easy that I do all the time that I feel my sexiest strongest most powerful in that suits me well and hopefully you have already identified one to three of those looks for yourself that you know how to do with ease or you go to the hair salon to get done that you do with ease that you feel your best and I don't care I rotate this thing all the time and it's just it's a quick and easy thing ooh, 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 ooh. let me drop in the top of the gel i cannot it's always so funny when i go to the school because the way that the teacher anybody even the, even the students honey the way they be looking at me is so funny because i'm a creator so i take this time to get dressed and create content and i go there dressed up right i'm not dressed to come to this event i'm dressed for myself for my business because i'm working and when i get back home i'm going to continue working and then i'm going to wear that outfit or wear that look to the lunch date with my child <laughs> and it's always a gag when i go because i stand out like a Christmas tree. I mean, it's like, wow. <laughs> you know? Oh, where are you going? Hi. All the time. And you already know how I spray my fragrance. Girl. Them always. I just know. I just know they be like, excuse me. <laughs> the students be looking at me crazy. The the adults, it's just the funniest thing every time. And you know what? Like I said in another video that the way I present myself teaches people how to regard me. And that is of utmost importance for me. Because before I even speak, you're going to catch my drift just from seeing me, experiencing me. And when you catch my drift, you know that I don't play when it comes to me or my child, do you feel me? So I just, I just be laughing on the inside. And I'm a serious person. I do joke, I do have fun, you do see that. But overall, at baseline, I'm a serious person. So my resting face <laughs> can look like I'm upset or unapproachable, but I really am not. It's just, I'm resting. I'm taking a break. Like, dang. <laughs> do you always walk around smiling? I mean, I do smile. Come on. I do smile. Let's, let's just let's keep away with this. If you've ever met me in person, come on. I do smile. Hello. <laughs> but it's giving. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. You know? <laughs> I'm annoyed. Now I'm going to have an energy. I took that bloom powder. I keep going like this because I want my, my robe to go down. It was just, it came up because my hands were up. That bloom powder, the pre work Is it a pre workout? Yeah. Yeah, it works because I'm feeling mad energy right now. And why? I don't even know. Mind you, I did the first part of my workout. I've been doing two workouts. Cardio on my stepper from Amazon, which I do enjoy. This has got to be. And then I've been doing Sydney Cummins. I have not been to the gym in a while. A lot of things going on this month of November. It's December now, but in the month of November, I had a lot going on. So I didn't make it to the gym much. I'll be, I'll be going back. I just like having the stuff at home. First of all, I began my workouts at home. So I had all the stuff. And I keep it because when I can't make it to the gym, I still want to get my exercise in. So having the equipment at home is good. And the reason why I signed up for the gym is because I needed to get out of the house, interact, just do different things. Just, just get out of here, you feel me? So yeah, anyway, I did the first part of the workout, which was the cardio. And I meant to do the Sydney Cummins joint. But then I just got sidetracked, got busy doing stuff, and I was just like, you know what? Now I only have time. I gotta get ready to go to have lunch with me at school. So that's why I'm I'm here right now. So I only did what a 20-something minute workout today. It's better than nothing. My body is sore. My body is sore from the workouts, okay? <laughs> and I'm on this health journey, so the soreness feels good because I know that I'm doing something and it's working. So it's a good thing, but boy, is it uncomfortable. 
and I have thrown off my ab workouts. My abs are still there, praise Jehovah, right? But I have thrown off of it. And I was like, why aren't my abs more? Like, what's going on with the definition? <laughs> so, sun's my eye. So I did an ab, an ab workout yesterday and I can feel it. Yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it in my, my back. Ooh, my back is looking good. My back is looking good. I've never seen my back look this good, okay? The back looks great. So when I'm back with stuff, I'm gonna always let y'all see it. You feel me? I'm gonna always let y'all get an updated progress report on the back because it looks stupendous. Are you kidding? Wow. <laughs> because I'm excited about it, I gotta share. You know? I just, it's just a must. It's just important for everyone to enjoy what I get to enjoy, you know? So I, I'm glad I did something. I'm glad I did something. And the earlier I do it and get it out of the way, the better. Because once I get just into other things, I'm just not interested. This morning I was listening to or watching some videos on YouTube from Joseph Sar, T-S-A-R. He's a young guy that talks about rhetoric and articulacy. Is that a word? Articulacy? Rhetoric. And I enjoy it because rhetoric is, is interesting to me. I want to expand my deep lexicon Ooh, baby. and switch out a lot of the words and phrases in my surface lexicon. It's your, it's your, uh, your word box, baby, your word box. The words that we quickly employ, surface lexicon, deep lexicon, the words that we know are familiar with but don't employ often. Those are just deep down in our repertoire, you feel me? So I want to expand both of those. And I stumbled on his videos a while back and I've been watching that. This morning, I was watching one, a few videos, and it was quite edifying, very exciting. The more I watch them, the more, the better I'll get, obviously. The more stuff will sink in. So yeah, I was doing that this morning. And then we all got to just, not all, but let me say for me, I do, of course, enjoy the mindless, some of the mindless garbage, just because sometimes I don't want to always be thinking about, see, I had to go over the, the front, the immediate front again, just to get it real, real, real flat. And then we're going to fill it in once it dries. But I'm not always trying to be in school, you feel me? So sometimes the mindless stuff. It's just helpful for a little bit. For a little bit. For a little bit. The stuff we consume does come out of our mouths. It do be filling our minds. So I'm working on limiting that. And of course, folding in things that are going to be edifying. That's important to me. When I was in school, I really enjoyed being in school. Yeah, some stuff was like, dang, man, I got to do this. Like, what a world. But I really enjoyed it. I, I When I look back, I, I think I mentioned this in a different video. I was the one who had the color coordinated notes. I mean, in graduate school, I literally was typing out my notes from the books that one of my instructors actually wanted a copy of my notes from that class literally and I gave it to him and he wanted it for students who may need extra help maybe someone with I don't know dyslexia or any kind of learning disability that a learning challenge that could find use from my typed out notes and I was so pleased by that I thought it was really really nice so all that to say I really enjoy learning so that's what i was doing there and my face is looking real dewy I'm cleaning my brushes right now my yeah the brushes i was using on my hair i am repairing my moisture barrier on my face girl because my face broke out the other day i was like yo man i've been having rosacea for since i came to houston before i came to houston i, I broke out with it in graduate school so that's been 14 years now this thing is chronic it ain't gonna go nowhere but man is it annoying boy is it annoying it's such an inconvenience it's not the end of the world but it is an inconvenience I me mean, many times i'll still film i'll still move on life goes on but then there's sometimes i'm just like oh i'ma just hang off the camera let my skin breathe which is a good thing let it breathe and i'll come back another time thankfully i've had it for so long and i've had to deal with it for such a long time that I don't hide when I have the breakout. When I worked in the office, I couldn't hide. I had to go to work. What a breakout. And I would do my makeup, breakout or not. So it was rash face with makeup on. And people would look at me and of course never say a word because it would be rude to ask me unless we had a close enough relationship where you could ask me. But of course it's uncomfortable, especially when my face is mad itchy. 
and I have a rash, it's sick. So it's healing and I did exfoliate my face because what happens is as it's healing, the skin sheds and it just looks crazy with or without makeup. It just looks clumpy. You know, it looks like peeling skin. Like if you have a sunburn, it's skin's peeling. So yeah, it's not, it's not smooth at all. Doesn't it look like glass in a way? It's not smooth at all, but it's better. This is better than it was a few days ago. And I've had a few breakouts as of the past few weeks. Yeah, yo, crazy. If you have rosacea, come in, let me know. Okay, I'm gonna, I wanna wear, I have an hour and a half. I wanna wear this white bodysuit, but I recognize that I would need to put it on now before I do my makeup. I have a problem with that. I have a few problems. <laughs> I'm gonna be but cloudy. I'm not gonna be sweaty, but I gotta do it for the. I gotta do it for my outfit. I gotta just sacrifice for the look, you know. I'm going for a certain look. It's winter. It's winter, so it's weird to wear a friggin' summer dress. Or should I just do it? <laughs> I'm so annoyed. Hold on. I have two outfit options because one of the pants that I was gonna wear I haven't worn yet, so I don't know how it's gonna fit me. And I don't like trying things on. Although I create fashion content now, I actually don't like to try things on until it's time to go. I hate trying things on in store, but I have to do things that I hate. I get it. So I've been doing them, okay? But I don't feel like putting it on right now. <laughs> so I have two options. I've learned to do that. When I have somewhere to go, have two options because the worst thing is you have something in mind and then I'm sweating when I put on my clothing. I need to get the armpit <laughs> moisture. And then I'm sweating trying to put things on and I gotta go and then I'm all like, ah, now what am I gonna wear? So I just identified two options in case one of them doesn't work. All right, let me go do my makeup. I'm gonna film. I guess I'm gonna film some reels. <laughs> I'm feeling in the reels mood. Oh man, what a day already, honey. Okay, so I have on my Zara pumps that I put into a video that I really love. They're these sock heels, sock heel, I said pumps. Zara boots, excuse me. These sock boots love the taupe color. These jeans are from Amazon, they're the size XL. They scrunch in the back, which is nice, although because I have on a bodysuit, when I was sitting, I had to be careful because you can see, you feel me, like when it pulls up. But they got a hat on this vest. This vest is from last year from Amazon. I have it in black also. It doesn't have any pockets, but it's here. This lip was clashing, look. <laughs> This is a formal dining area, so this light is always in my, the chandelier is always in my way. I feel like it clashed. Yo, I'm so tired already. I've already done so much that I'm just like, I already feel like my day should be over. Oh, Amazon. Oh my God. <laughs> I got messed up. Good Lord. I need to sweep the front of my area. Do you all ever do that? It just it makes, it reminds me of my mom. She would sweep the front because it just be looking all dingy. I need to do that. Oh, okay, we got some packages. Hi. 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 Thank you. Thanks. Is everything? No. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. I get my packages from the post office, deliver because convenience. It's just convenience. <sighs> okay. Oh, he's in a room. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So, yeah, I have my post office packages delivered to save me time and effort. And then I tip well because sometimes it'd be a lot of stuff. You feel me? It's here. It makes my life easier. I got mad boxes over here. Let me light my candles and put on something comfortable and see what I'm about to do. Even in the deepest desert, no matter where I go, oh, always in a room. If you ever been down, opportunity to grow. Trust in God.
he got his hands in it. I promise he'll protect you like a slam in it. He don't get the glory if the man did it. You gotta stand with him. I know. Yeah. Life gets hard and it feels like it's no way out. Yeah. I promise if you just keep going, it'll all work out. Yo, it's several hours later. I'm almost finished getting ready. I have on this top from Amazon. Isn't it so cute and grown and sexy? Hang on. I literally am the person who's like, are we still on? Because in my mind, I'm like, if you cancel, that would actually be so great. I don't want to go. Not that I don't want to go with you. It's just that I'd rather sleep. I was trying to sleep earlier. Oh, and then I said, you know what? I need to go. I need to stop. I need to stop doing that. I got these recently from Amazon, these earrings. I think they're cute. You can't even see them really. So yeah, I'm switching these earrings out. I'll link this in the top and the pants below. I didn't get to do any kind of get ready with me because, girl, <laughs> I had to freaking get myself in, in the spirit. <laughs> in the spirit. I was tired earlier. Oh, wait, should I wear these earrings? Oh, my God. You can't even really see them. I normally don't change out my earrings. I normally keep them with my usual everyday earrings. I'm so annoyed. I don't have anything keeping this shirt down. I just have on my nipple pasties and that's it fyi fragrance what should i wear i have commodity milk right here in front of me should i wear this oh this smells so good and creamy and milky let me get my purse i'm looking at why it's so pr right there hang on okay i'm so annoyed because having lots of fragrances is actually gets in a curse because it's hard to figure out what i want to wear when i want to wear it because i'm like what vibe am i going for what kind of projection do i want I want to wear these earrings today. Are they going to stay put? I'm bringing my AirPods. I don't need it, but I like to have it in case, like, whatever. So my AirPods, a spare battery for my camera, a tripod. Look at all that going in here. And then the selfie light. All inside. Okay, and then I am going to just do commodity milk because I can't think. This is really warm and milky. So warm and milky. Ooh, the issue. Ooh, I just inhaled this. Is the texture of this shirt. Shoot. I should have sprayed it before I put it on because it will show stains. It will show pit stains too. Thankfully, I'm not sweating right now. It will show stains. Jesus. You know, oil stains is what I mean. So be careful when you're spraying something like this. When you're spraying any fragrance on with this shirt because it will show oil stains and then you don't want that. Because even my, my Vaseline, I feel like I have a stain right here. Can you see it? Anyway. Okay. Dang. All right. Let's just get the neck a little, like just a little mist on the inside. Okay. Let's just do this. Oh, we don't want to, we don't want to have stains, girl. This smells so good. Ooh, but I don't want that dripping. And see, because I have on Vaseline, which is great to have the fragrance stick to. When you touch it, it's going to show your fingerprint. <laughs> Ooh, that's the issue with Vaseline, baby. Okay. Ooh, I just sprayed the shirt. You see that? You can already see the stain, honey. Okay. Let's just leave it. Just let it air dry. Because first of all, that is what you want to do. But second, oh shoot, I sprayed it too close. I sprayed it too close. It's giving sweat. And I never blot my fragrance, but I have to because I don't want that running down look. Because I have on Vaseline, it'll show, okay? So there you go. The good thing is with fragrance, it has oil in it and it'll give you a shine. So it'll just add on to the shine that you already have from your body if you make sure that your body shines. <laughs> Okay, my usual jewelry here, my everyday soft glam makeup look. Let me get my shoes from Amazon. I wish I had some Tom Ford padlocks. I'm going to invest in those soon. One of these days. One of these days, girl. And you can just see the shine from this spray. Oh, shit. Oh, I meant to spray my hand, and I sprayed my shirt. And the saving grace for the heels is this Vaseline all over body balm stick. Love this all over the body. I already put Vaseline on my feet. But I'm putting some more in key areas because I Oh, and these pants, you also don't want to get greasy because it will hold on to the grease stain. <laughs> and you know, brown skin got to shine, baby. It got to shine, but just be careful. Oh, here goes the balancing act. Uh-oh. My feet look nice and shiny. Get the key areas. We don't want to be out here looking ashy and questionable, okay? Come on, baby. Let's do what we can, okay? Ooh, am, I, am I showing a lot? <laughs> I can't tell. I would do tape, but I'm prioritizing the glow. We're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. She's going to be all right. You feel me? Mm -hmm. 
She's sitting up. So if I get a if I get a slip, she's sitting up though. But I have them the, the pasty, so it looks like skin anyhow. No picture on a t-shirt. Like you never existed. I'm done being a victim. This my villain era look out. I go hard for my heart. Play with her, it go down. Now you block. Don't make a sound. Don't wish you no harm. But I hope that no good come around. In my space, there's no cheaters allowed. I gave you my What did you say? Is it working? Yeah. 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 Seven was cool. Seven was cool. 
ah, we saw that up on TikTok, okay? Would I go again? Maybe. Overall, aesthetically, the place is nice. Oh, oh, not my, <laughs> not my freaking, my freaking compression socks. I'm cleaning up a little bit. I washed these from my last flight. Anyhow, seven was cool. We had fun. We had a lot of catching up to do. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for her. It's just such, it's such a shock. I was freaking shocked. I look so thin. I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm so shocked. I, I was so shocked. That was such a raw reaction. Seven was cool. The ambiance was cool. The fire dancer was cool. We met Aaron, Aaron, because he had to clarify for us because we were like, Aaron, Aaron? Anyway, we kept calling him Aaron. He was real chill. He must have been a ho hospitality ambassador because he was helping us get our pictures. He was just so nice. I was like, this is actually a really great touch in this day and age of social media. Yes, help me get my content because we came in here because of content. So help us get our content because then we're going to go post it. You feel me? So that was a nice touch. And they have an outdoor and an indoor. It was cold. So we obviously sat inside. We had a great view where we were sitting. There was a fight. The cat, what is this? And such a shocker because what? This is not the kind of establishment for that kind of activity. You feel me? Two tables were getting into an argument. There was some shoving going on. It was a shocker. I tell you, we were just like, that ghetto, that ghetto. Is that how you really say it? We were just like, excuse me, what the hell? So you saw that and we were like, what is going on around here? I don't know. I don't know what was going on. And one of the men was trying to explain it to us, the black guy, something about racism. I don't know the story. I don't know what's going on. It was just, it was a little alarming because in a place like that, we, we just wouldn't expect it. Granted, a fight can break out anyway. We get that. But really, that wasn't, we were not expecting that. So that happened, we were just like, what? The food? No. I was starving. I wasn't starving, I was hungry. I had only eaten once earlier that day. So I was hungry. I ordered, what was it, Greek something, something salad. I asked for them to put chicken on top. It, the place gives Mediterranean vibes. It's a Mediterranean feel. I asked for chicken on top. The, the salad dressing was good, the Greek vinaigrette. The chicken was room temperature. And I asked the man, is the chicken going to be hot or what? I could make it hot for you. It was room temperature. And then the beef, no, what did I get? Steak, something, bites, kebab, shish kebab, something. It was very room temperature. I said, what the hell is this? I don't like the texture of that either. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be. I forget the name of it, but it was room temperature. No, 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 no. And when I talked to the owner, he explained that they had two large parties, one of which was a part of this brawl. It wasn't a brawl. It was close to a brawl, though. And that put a strain on the kitchen. But, of course, that wasn't up to standard and invited us back, blah, blah, blah. It was cool, though. I mean, it was a cool mixed vibe. I met... I met Khadija, right? Khadija is her name. Hey, girl. She was there looking stunning. There was a group of black women who were a few table a table away from us who were there it was cool mainly needed to catch up so we did that i'm sleepy i got home at one something i'm sleepy i really am and right now it's <laughs> i looked at the date right now it's 9 32 i got up like eight something i'm sleepy i had two glasses of champagne anyway yeah i need to pack up my I need to pack up my Zara jeans because you know how these things don't fit me. I have a lot of packages at the front that need to be freaking unboxed. I even shown you this bag right here. Oh my gosh, let me show it to you. This I found on TikTok. The TikTok girls be knowing what's up, okay? It is a what? Not Bottega, Loewe. It's a Loewe dupe. Not a dupe. Yeah, it's a dupe because it's not going to say, it's not going to have a Loewe logo right here very soft material sturdy great has a zipper here this is the inside you know it's a dupe it's not going to say Lueve. you feel me but it's it's inspired situation it doesn't open all the way because of the way that it is you got to shove your fingers inside if you have long nails or fragile nails be careful you don't want to break your nail trying to get into your purse okay because of the way that it's shaped but it is really thinking cute Put 
you know, giveaway boxes. I still do these randomly, so make sure that you're commenting, liking, subscribing, all the things. It's random. If, if you live internationally, you do just need to have a U.S. forwarding address. Okay, but boom. up my wig and I haven't worn it yet the trouble with the bang wig I'm doing the stepper the issue with the bang wig is that it's got a bang <laughs> so when I'm doing my makeup I can't have it on it has to come on when I finish my face anyway so it's it's hung up it's on the stand over there and I'll wear it one of these days I need to really style a few wigs so that they're ready to just throw on and interchange as I see fit I still swell right here. I got any questions about that. I still swell at the top. I mean, my goal is to trim down body fat anyway, because that is what will keep this part here from swelling so much. Okay, so swelling is different from fat. I get it. And I think it's visceral fat underneath the muscle. I don't remember. That might be what it is. Either way, I still have some swelling here. Can you believe that we are in the month where I had this surgery last year? Crazy. I'll link this step for if you're interested. If you're looking at me like, what? Crazy. I cannot believe it a year ago. I cannot believe it. Oh, and this is from Amazon, this set too. I'll link it. But just crazy. I like doing my step right here because number one, I can see everything. Number two, I have my computer here, my phone, my charging station, my iPad. I, sometimes I just do things while I'm here to multitask. You know me. I have two iPads actually. I just multitask. It's a command station right here. I got my watch going and I've got an average heart rate, nothing too wild, but you can pump it up more if you wanted to, you feel me? This thing was getting, not squeaky, it was making someone, I guess it's called a squeak, it wasn't high pitched. It was making a really annoying sound. Thank God I have WD-40, so I sprayed it. And now this sound is this, the, the foot, the foot steppers just moving as I step. That's the sound you're hearing. Otherwise, I love how it doesn't take up much space, you feel me? And I'm just doing it here. Sometimes I'll lean forward. I try to stay up to give myself more burn. I'm starting to sweat right now, and it's been 11 minutes. So I want to do this. I like to go for an hour, but I have work to do. So I'm going to do 30 minutes, so 19 more, and then... I'm gonna do my workout with Sydney Cummings on YouTube. I've been using her for years, and I have my weight to do that. I should go to the gym, but I ain't got no time today. So I'm doing my at-home workout, and that's why having this at home is just so helpful, because if I don't have time to go over there, I do it at home, shower, makeup, I gotta film something that's due today. <laughs> I shouldn't have waited this long, but here we are. And I always get it done. Usually I knock it whoop, right out the park too, which is a blessing. And there's just always, always things to do. Always, always things to do. My issue with workout sets that are two pieces is that it tends to isolate the part that swells, which doesn't help to compress it. And then you're thinking, oh, why aren't you wearing a garment? Because months ago, my doctor said not to wear it anymore. Every now and then it's fine, but she's like, it's not needed. So I've been, as you see, going without it anyway. But yeah, it'll isolate the problem area so i'm always trying to pull it up or push this down just because of the swelling but i look forward to the swelling being done because it's annoying it's annoying so almost time for that to be over with oh i'm watching this video by blue centric and it's called humanized she's discussing the kiki conundrum and she just said something that blew my top off she said all your day ones cannot be day twos and i think that is so powerful that is 
a heavy statement because many times people will feel like, oh, I've known this person for 20 something years, since kindergarten, since second grade, since whatever, that's my day one. And who you were at that time is not who you are now. Not only that, we all aren't on the same path. And someone you may have gotten along with when there were limited responsibilities, limited need to be an adult, is not gonna be the same person now. How do you expect to get along and be on the same wavelength as someone that you were running around the playground with when you were six, you feel me? And I don't have any examples of that, but it still stood out to me that I thought, that is such a great point. I feel, I find it just so tacky. I find it uninteresting to feel like because I've known you since I was eight, we should still be friends now. If we were, that'd be fantastic. That'd be a bonus. Who wouldn't want to have a friend or friends that you've gone through several phases of life with? But is it by force? No, because you can't take everyone into every stage of life. Just like some people might feel like they can't take me into every stage of their life. And that's fine. I praise God that I'm a secure enough person that if I'm not for someone, then that's okay. I'm not going to lose sleep. I'm not going to lose sleep. <laughs> I'm not going to lose sleep. So, yeah, this, this, what she's saying is so good. But if you, sh some you think those are the Oh, when I watch it on 1.5. 1. 1. 1. 1. All your day ones need to be day twos. So it's fast. Sometimes people are clapping for you and they love you because you are right next to them. But if you shoot out ahead of them, yep. that's where resentment often comes from. Yep. Yeah, and that's a good point. When you are on the same line as some people, it's all love. They're supporting you. It's easy. And I discussed this in a video, what, a year ago? But then the minute you shoot out in front of them, go further, and they're finding it difficult to catch up or to surpass. Because for some people, they'd rather surpass you than to be behind or at the same level as you. Then it becomes a problem. It becomes a problem. Not everyone can handle not matching up. And there's always gonna be someone, at least someone who's better than, smarter than, sexier than, more accomplished than, more rich than, all the things. But some people just cannot handle that. Some people just cannot handle that and nothing gonna do me. Does that make sense, guys? And so I listened to everything he said. He told me his justification. Um, I also recognized that certain friends who had not worked with me, who had met through him, had stopped talking to me and taking my calls. And that's what kills me. That's what kills me is when someone is trying to bring you down and you don't budge and you still stay up because you know who you are. You know who you are in Christ. You know your future. You know your talents. You know your gifts. You have security within yourself. Then they try to go around and get other people to think differently about you. And it's like, yo, let these people have their own encounter with me and come to their own judgment about me. But no, 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 no. The very insecure people who want to have control over the narrative will try to change the way that other people feel about you. And I've been there. And yes, it's infuriating at first because it's hurtful. But for me, if you've had an encounter with me or encounters with me, and they've been positive, if they've been negative, then that's our encounter. Now, if you're so simple-minded that you allow what someone else says to you about me to change the way that you perceive me, then you're not the kind of person I want in my life anyway, because you have no ability to think for yourself. You have no autonomy. You just go by what someone says? Absolutely not, I'm too grown for that. Because if someone comes to me and says, so and so this, so and so and that, yes, in the past I've been like, well, oh my God, I can't believe it, oh no, I'm gonna stay away. But as I've grown, and evolved, I recognize that I still need to save space for my own interaction with that person because this is not high school. You may not like that person for whatever reason. Granted, this is barring anything egregious, right? When I'm talking about that, but they know the simple stuff. It's like, okay, I, I can understand that. I can respect what you're saying, but I've yet to meet that person. I've yet to encounter that, so I'll keep my eyes peeled. Thank you for sharing. That's my disposition right now. I'll keep my eyes peeled, thank you for sharing. Because what the hell?
All right, I'm about to, I just filmed a video and I'm about to have therapy, so I'm gonna curl my wig. <laughs> I'm gonna curl my wig while I talk to my therapist. Yes, I'm still in therapy. I don't see how I can live without it. It's just so important. Ooh, there she is. Hi, good, how about you? I'm gonna make this wig a side part, but do I wanna do that right now? I don't feel like that's what I wanna do right now. This is the one that looks like a blowout. Cause I do have space to make it a side part right here. What I like about this is it really is a wear and go. And I already styled this, what, on IG I think it was. Oh, let's pull this back. I'm gonna, we can leave it here. I already styled this on IG. Dang it, all the flyaways in my face. I need to get that off my face. Okay. Everything I never do in real life I stepped into a room, told everyone to be quiet Cause I had something to say, blew everybody away Wear whatever I want Dressed in a gown, everybody's like Why are you going no special? Yo, okay, so I have, I put on this older wig that I have Look at all this, <laughs> yo, I'm so annoyed Okay, let me explain this These are some boots that I've had for a long time, right? And I wore them to the field and it was dirty the field was dirty the grass must have been wet so there's a whole bunch of stuff underneath the boots and if you've noticed already i have a huge issue with dirt filth just any kind of non unclean uncleanliness so i was gonna i left them in the garage for a while then i was grossed out by the possibility that bugs and spiders could get inside the boot so i took it from the garage and i put it on on a rainy day and my goal was to go and rinse my boots in a puddle <laughs> And before walking into the car, I put foot, you know, the foot, you know, the foot, those covers. I have them for when I have visitors. Let me show you. Because I don't do filthy stuff. Take your shoes off or you can wear these, right? So I put these on it to bring the shoes back into the house. I put them on and just sit in the car and then just come back in the house because I didn't actually end up going I didn't leave the car that day. It's a long story. So I didn't leave the car that day. I came back inside and I said, okay, if I'm gonna bring these boots in the house, they gotta be covered. So that's why they're covered like that with this. And I plan on wearing them on a rainy day at some point and then rinsing the bottom, okay? There's the explanation, all right? And speaking of these footsie things, I saw this, you know, Amazon, it, Amazon has everything and Instagram tells you all of it. I saw this machine, it is just a little, gadget thing where you put those rubber foot covers in it and all you do is step your foot inside and then your foot is covered as opposed to now what i have to do is give it to let's say my cleaners and then they put it on their feet it'll just be some kind of contraption you put your foot inside put your foot inside and then your shoe is covered so it'll make life easier okay there's your long explanation uh let's see this wig is old and i curled it the other day i hate when i like how this side falls and not this side but here we are anyway. I did this eyeshadow look today that I am not a huge fan of. Let me tell you why. The wind was blowing when I went to go have lunch with me at his school and the, the hair strands were getting stuck to my eye mascara, my eyeshadow. How is that possible? Why is the hair getting stuck to my eyeshadow? Because the eyeshadow was creamy. I wanted to try something new. I don't like the creaminess. And then when I open and close my eyes, it's... It's just sticking. It's sticky. I mean, it looks pretty, but the stickiness is getting on my nerves. Okay, I got some packages here. And let's see, what did I want to show you? When I went to get the boxes from the front, yo, these geckos be killing me. One was brown and it was hiding underneath packages. Beware of that. Do you have that where you live? I can't stand these geckos. They're creepy. They're creepy. Some of them are clear. Some of them are brown. Some of them are green. I just, they're, they, they creep me out. Are they going to eat me alive? No, but I don't like crawling things. You know, I have this thing about crawling things. It just, it troubles me in my soul. You know me? And I brought my recycling bin inside the garage, which is a huge step for me because I'm, again, I'm just grossed out by filth. Oh God, I can't deal with it. So I brought it in the garage, big deal for me. And 
to just make things a little bit easier because they be acting up when I when I be bringing out my humongous ninety gallon clear bags full of all kinds of recyclables. I guess they don't like that. I mean, what do you want me to do? You want me to recycle? I never used to recycle ever. Okay, if you like me, you didn't grow up. Well, do my mom recycle? She might have, but. I, don't, I didn't take it into adulthood, but let's put it that way. I did not carry that into adulthood at all. Anyhow, my makeup is done early today and I want to film, but I also want to go to sleep. Can you imagine? These are those humongous bags that I was telling you about. These are what, 90 gallon? Yep, 90 gallon, 50, 90 gallon bags. These are phenomenal if you want to package up your recyclables or anything, really. They're humongous.